Hello everyone, I'm Gavin. And I'm Micah. And, and welcome, welcome back to Bulldog, Bulldog Bites. start of the school year. You know, it's never too early to start worrying about grades. Here's a friendly reminder that you should start checking them and keeping on top of assignments now so you don't fall behind later. With that being said, this year's Bulldog Bites crew is much smaller than years prior. Yes it is, and I hope I don't get sick of seeing your face. I know I will. Anyway, here's a few things to expect from this semester's shows. The first being a look on this week's forecast created by Cole Katz. Thanks, Cole. That forecast was based on the Weather Channel about a week ago, so it's probably a little bit wrong. Another small segment will be trivia each week. some of those facts. It's always fun to learn about our school and town. Lamar's community has a number of new teachers this year. Yoshi and Cassidy are going to be interviewing the new staff throughout the semester. Our first look is a staff member that Cluck Home students know well. Here's Yoshi with the story. Coach Phelan is not new to Lamar's community school, but he's new to the high school. I had the opportunity to visit with him about why he is a teacher. When I was going through school, I uh, really appreciate all the sports and just how that connected and was really taught just the great things and experiences that we had through that. So it was something that allowed me to be a teacher and get sports involved for the kids and just what it teaches on life lessons besides the usual things that you consist of. That's not the only reason Coach Phelan enjoys teaching. He looks forward to the best part is when you see the kids uh, grow through those experiences and actually get to see the rewards of what uh, you're trying to instill with them, uh, especially in moments when all of a sudden they have the aha. Mr. Phelan has a long history with Lamar's. Family background, I'm actually from Lamar's, Iowa here. I originally was uh, raised just outside of Sini on the farm. Uh, my parents, Al, uh, drives bus for the school district. He's also a farmer. And then my mother, Brenda, actually still works at the ice cream par parlor currently. Um, we were raised, went here, went to school at University of Northern Iowa after you and I had a job for a while teaching at Ridgeview and two years at Northwestern for football and now I've been here and was at El Cluckhorn Elementary for the last about seven years. This is my eighth year here. So what was your uh, favorite part of the summer? Going to Arizona to play basketball. Got to play against new competition, got to meet new people. Got to go to a, a Red Sox versus Diamondbacks game. What you know about that? Um, so it was fun. All right, Chase. So what was your favorite part of the summer? Uh, I'm going to Florida. What'd you do? Uh, I went swimming in the ocean. That's pretty cool. Valid. Uh, I traveled to uh, many countries. Like what countries? Uh, Vietnam, Thailand, um, 
I went back to America. <laughs> went fishing. Did you catch anything? Yeah, I caught a couple bass and catfish. That's pretty cool. All right, keep it up. Hey, Raph. What? What was the favorite thing you did over the summer? Um, going to the pit, swimming, and going to the park. Oh, that, that sounds pretty fun. All right, see you, Raph. See ya. See you, Raph. Here's a look at some sports highlights. Boys Golf won the meet on September 5th. Trace Obink won the Gary Meyer Cross Country Meet September 5th. Trace ran the 5K in 16 minutes, 16 seconds. Just nine seconds shy of the school record. Aaron Lee finished in the top 20, placing 14th, and Mackenzie DeRocher finished 13th for girls. The volleyball team has had some very intense matches, and football has started the season 2-0. Christian Cooks created some highlights. I'm Gavin. And I'm Micah. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.